Tyler Perry is an American filmmaker, playwright, actor, and comedian. His films vary in style from orthodox filmmaking techniques to filmed production of live stage plays, and most of his stage play films have been subsequently adapted as feature films. Over the course of his career, he has directed and produced more than 30 movies, 20 stage productions, and 8 TV shows. Every year, he personally earns between $200 and $250 million from his sprawling entertainment empire. And in 2020, Tyler was included in Time's list of the 100 most influential people and received the Gene Hirschholt Humanitarian Award from the Academy Awards. Tyler was inducted into the Black Music and Entertainment Walk of Fame. So are you curious about his life as much as we were? In this video, we will dig into every piece of personal information about this billionaire. Tyler Perry's baby mama, Galila Bekele, who dated Tyler Perry for a decade and now co-parents a son with him, also serves as a director in his upcoming documentary. Per People magazine, Perry and Bekele, a model and activist, started dating after meeting at a Prince concert in 2007. They had a son, Amon Tyler, in December 2014, and split six years later in 2020. As per sources, the duo amicably split some time ago and remain close friends, and their focus is on being the best parents they can for their son. Today reported that Bekele was once signed with Ford Model Management, per her official website. It also stated that her modeling career began after college when she settled in New York City. She even traveled across the globe until 2013 when her life behind the camera, as a director, took off. The outlet reported that Bekele, who is also an author, published a photography book titled Guzo in 2016. She claimed to have come up with the idea of Guzo, which means journey in English, while traveling to the rural areas of Ethiopia in 2007. She also explained that the project took shape while filming a documentary about Ethiopia's water crisis with an all-female film crew. Furthermore, her career as a documentary filmmaker took off in 2013. She then released a six-minute documentary clip, The Model Activists, featuring 10 models talking about helping those in need in 2017. She released two more projects, My, Life is Not Honey, and Anbessa in 2019. Both these works debuted at the 2019 Cannes Film Festival. Today, further reported that Bekele is also a humanitarian and has taken her activism to new levels. She started supporting a nonprofit organization called Charity Water. This organization brings clean and safe water to people around the world. Lastly, the 37-year-old is also a single and proud mother of her and Perry's son, she spoke about co-parenting and their life after the split, saying, We're a family, and Tyler Perry, he's an incredible father. Galila Bakili is also a model and a published author. According to Bakili's official website, she was once signed to Ford Model Management. Her modeling career began after college when she settled down in New York City. She traveled across the globe, gracing the covers of magazines, until 2013, when she transitioned to pursue her next passion, which was directing. In a 2011 interview with Tadias magazine, Bakel reflected on her modeling career, stating, You grow up so quickly. You're traveling from one place to another and you're learning languages you never knew, cultures. You're away from family, so you grow up and you learn, and it's one of those situations where you say to yourself, I haven't changed, but I'm not the same. So it opens your eyes to so many amazing things. In 2016, Bekele published her photography book, Guzo, which showcases the beauty of Ethiopia. The title, Guzo, means journey in English. According to Bekele, she created Guzo for curious and like-minded people, Ethiopians raised abroad, and her own children, with the hope that they would one day experience the pure, harmonious, and profound existence of Ethiopians. Bekele mentioned that the idea for Guzo came to her when she traveled to the rural areas of Ethiopia in 2007, and the project took shape while filming a documentary about Ethiopia's water crisis with an all-female film crew. 
His son, Amon, means the world to him. Amon Tyler Perry was born to Tyler Perry, an Ethiopian model, filmmaker, and activist, Galila Bekele, on November 30, 2014. The name Amon holds the meaning of peace, symbolizing the true essence of Thanksgiving and the holiday season. This significance reflects the serenity and gratitude associated with the arrival of their son. Following a man's birth, Perry and Bekele chose to share the joyous occasion with family and close friends through a birth announcement. Instead of traditional gifts, they encouraged donations to Charity Water, aligning the celebration with a charitable cause. In January of the following year, Perry expressed his heartfelt sentiments on Instagram alongside a photo of Amon's crib. He conveyed the profound peace he felt when holding his sleeping son, expressing gratitude to God for the beautiful gift named Amon. Perry calls Amon his greatest joy. Tyler Perry has found immense joy in witnessing his son Amon's growth and development. In a 2019 interview with People, Perry shared his delight, expressing how even the aspects that might be challenging bring him happiness. He recounted a delightful curiosity phase Amon went through at around the age of five, where he would pose questions like, Can a cheetah beat a rancher? Can a cheetah beat a car? Can a cheetah beat a bird? Can a cheetah beat a leaf falling? Perry humorously mentioned that going through all these imaginative scenarios would leave him beat, but the experience was filled with joy. The actor and filmmaker appreciates the wonder of watching his son learn and discover, finding the journey of parenthood to be truly wonderful. He has helped Perry heal from past abuse. Tyler Perry, a native of New Orleans, has openly shared his experiences of enduring physical and sexual abuse as a child. He has expressed how raising his son Amon has played a significant role in his personal healing from past traumas. Perry discussed his parenting approach with compassion during an appearance on Audible's Michelle Obama, The Light Podcast. He recounted a moment when Amon refused to brush his teeth and how he chose to handle the situation with empathy. In this particular instance, Perry asked the nanny to leave, and then he spoke directly to Amon, expressing love and emphasizing the importance of better behavior. Perry's emotional reaction during the conversation led him to leave the room, reflecting on the realization that he had never been spoken to with such compassion as a child. He described the moment as not only guiding and correcting his son, but also contributing to the healing of his own inner child. Perry acknowledged the beauty of the experience and how it marked a significant moment in his personal growth. In November 2023, Amazon Prime released a documentary titled Maxine's Baby, The Tyler Perry Story, providing further insight into Perry's challenging childhood, including a heated exchange with his father, Emmett Perry. How Tyler Perry Made His Net Worth of One Billion Dollar Tyler Perry is an American actor, director, playwright, and producer who has a net worth of $850 million. Tyler Perry is, far and away, one of the most financially successful directors in the entertainment industry. Over the course of his career, he has directed and produced more than 30 movies, 20 stage productions, and 8 TV shows. Every year, he personally earns between $200 and $250 million from his sprawling entertainment empire. His production company currently earns $150 million per year from one deal alone with Viacom CBS. Tyler is a truly self-made tycoon. He built his empire from scratch, starting with a single play he wrote and produced called I Know I've Been Changed. While living in his car, Tyler parlayed that play into a mini-theater empire that eventually grew into today's enormous multimedia empire. Tyler owns 100% of his costs, revenues, and profits. Film success. Jumping off his homegrown success, Perry approached production studio Lionsgate with a proposal. Perry would put up half the money for an upcoming film that would need a $5.5 million budget. Lionsgate put up the other half and took a small fee for marketing a 12% fee for distribution. They would split the profits after those costs evenly. 
Their first movie under this arrangement was 2005's Diary of a Mad Black Woman. The film grossed $50.6 million domestically and eventually earned an additional $150 million from TV syndication and home video sales. As part of his Lionsgate deal, Perry owns the content and keeps half the profits. Perry's directorial debut came in 2006 with his second film, Medea's Family Reunion, which opened at number one at the box office with $30.3 million. The film ultimately grossed $65 million, and he has directed each of the succeeding Medea films. Tyler produced 14 Medea movies. Those films grossed nearly $700 million at the box office. Each film cost less than $10 million to make. Since Perry writes, directs, and produces all of his movies almost entirely independently, he is able to take home the lion's share of each of his film's profits, a lion's share of roughly $300 million. Perry's films are typically targeted towards an African-American audience, and they often include subtle nods to Christianity. Television success. Perry's popular sitcom, Tyler Perry's House of Pain, ran for eight seasons, from June 21, 2006, to August 10, 2012. The show initially aired on CW and generated unexpected enormous ratings for the fledgling network. TBS lured Perry and Payne away from CW by offering him a $200 million production guarantee plus a 90-episode commitment. Oh, and Tyler would own the show. Tyler famously only spent $60 million on production costs. He kept the remaining $140 million for himself. He also wrote, directed, and produced Meet the Browns, which premiered on TBS in January 2009, and came to an end on November 18, 2011. Some of his recent television work includes Young Dylan, Ruthless, Brew, Assisted Living, All the Queen's Men, and Zadima, other work. Additionally, Perry has authored two books, Don't Make a Black Woman Take Off Her Earrings, Medea's Uninhibited Commentaries on Love and Life, 2006, which sold 30,000 copies and reached number one on the New York Times bestsellers list and Higher is Waiting, 2017, which debuted at Tower 5 on the New York Times bestsellers list. Tyler Perry Studios Tyler Perry Studios, based in Atlanta, was established in 2006. The studio's significant expansion came to fruition in 2019, when Tyler Perry unveiled its new location on a 330-acre site, previously the Fort McPherson military base. Perry had acquired the property four years prior for $30 million and invested an additional $250 million in upgrades and renovations. Originally a Confederate military base during the Civil War, Fort McPherson transformed into a prominent film production facility. The studio boasts approximately 50,000 square feet dedicated to permanent sets, featuring notable replicas such as the White House, a trailer park, a luxury hotel, and a 16,000-square-foot mansion. The premises have been utilized for various productions, including hosting the filming of the blockbuster Marvel movie Black Panther. This extensive studio is among the largest in the world, and Tyler Perry's ownership marked a historic milestone as the first African American to own a major studio. The facilities are highly sought after, with major studios like Netflix and Amazon reportedly spending around $100 million annually to rent Tyler Perry Studios for their productions. Personal Life Perry legally changed his first name at the age of 16 in order to distance himself from his abusive father, Emmett Perry Sr. However, years later, a DNA test revealed that Emmett Sr. was not Perry's biological father. Although unmarried, Perry has been in a relationship with model and social activist Galila Bekele since 2009. In November 2014, Bekele gave birth to their son, Amon Tyler Perry. In December 2020, Perry announced he was single. Outside of television and film, Perry supports a number of charitable causes and frequently lends resources to those in need. For example, in 2009, Perry sponsored 65 children from a Philadelphia day camp to visit Walt Disney World. 
In February 2023, it was reported that Perry was donating $2.75 million to help pay property taxes for low-income senior homeowners in Atlanta, Georgia. As part of a deal struck with Viacom CBS that pays Tyler Perry Studios $150 million per year for content production, Tyler personally received an equity stake in the BET Plus streaming network. Today, that stake is worth an estimated $50 million. In 2022, Tyler Perry was inducted into the Black Music and Entertainment Walk of Fame. Real estate. Worth a whopping $1 billion, Perry has invested his earnings wisely into property and land with a story to tell, deliberately reclaiming places with ties to slavery and racial injustice. A $100 million Atlanta mansion costing a record-setting price tag in Atlanta of $25 million. Tyler Perry's 34,688. Square-foot 17-acre mega mansion has, among other things, an infinity-style swimming pool. The property also has a lighted tennis court, a fully equipped gym, a spa, a theater, a hobby house, gardens, a caretaker suite, and an underground ballroom. The estate includes its own generator, guardhouse, presidential-level security, access to the Chattahoochee River, and two gated residential entrances. The property is understood to have been listed for sale in recent months after Tyler Perry decided to move on with him, planning to build a new house on a newly acquired 1,000-acre estate. Los Angeles Mansion Costing Tyler Perry a massive $13.5 million, this mansion is located on 1654 Blue Jay Way, Los Angeles, California. The property sits on over 8,751 square feet and features four bedrooms and six bathrooms a three-car garage fronted by stainless steel doors and a screening room. There is also a billiards room, home fitness center, wine cellar, and a disco area, with the mansion is built among some of the finest estates in the city. If you thought the three-car garage was not enough, then you will not be surprised to know that the home also features a 30-car motor court where all his friends can park during the parties. White Bay K. Tyler Perry acquired a private island in the Exuma Kais area of the Bahamas in 2009, alongside another island. The island features a tropical Balinese-style home with multiple guest bungalows, offering an idyllic retreat. Islands in this region typically have a valuation in the range of 20 to under 30 million dollars. Perry's residence on the island is estimated to encompass approximately 14,000 square feet of space. The acquisition of the island coincided with Perry's 40th birthday, and he intends to use it as a secluded getaway. The Exumacase area is known for its appeal to celebrities seeking privacy, with notable figures such as Aga Khan, Tim McGraw, Faith Hill, Johnny Depp, and David Copperfield having acquired islands in the vicinity. The remoteness of these islands, coupled with the absence of airports, celebrity chef restaurants, nightlife, and paparazzi, contributes to their allure for affluent celebrities like Tyler Perry. Dean Gardens Mansion Tyler Perry's mansion, originally listed at $40 million, was successfully acquired by Perry for the bold sum of $7.6 million. Situated on Old Alabama Road within the Johns Creek area of North Atlanta, the 58-acre estate boasts an impressive 1,100 feet of Chattahoochee River frontage. The mansion itself spans an expansive 32,000 square feet and features 15 bedrooms, reflecting opulence and grandeur. The property is adorned with luxurious amenities, including an 18-hole golf course, an amphitheater, and even a wedding chapel. Notably, the bathrooms in the mansion are adorned with 24-carat solid gold, with an estimated cost of $88,000, and the overall maintenance expenses are around $1.5 million annually. The mansion showcases a variety of themed suites, including Moroccan, Egyptian, Oriental, and French bedrooms, contributing to the estate's unique and diverse aesthetic. Additionally, the property includes a guest house, caretaker's house, greenkeeper's house, and a man-made lake with a fountain, complemented by two apartments to accommodate even more visitors. Now, you would probably think, what did this billionaire use to travel today? 
His car collection is exciting and insane with a touch of class. Coming up first is the Bentley Continental GT. The Bentley Continental GT stands out as one of the most powerful coupes in Tyler Perry's impressive car collection. This luxury vehicle not only boasts a remarkable engine, but also exudes opulence. With a starting price of $200,500, the Continental GT is a fine addition to Perry's garage, reflecting the luxury associated with the Bentley brand. Under the hood, the Continental GT is equipped with a potent 4.0L twin turbocharged V8 engine, showcasing a perfect blend of performance and sophistication. While there is also a W12 engine option available, Perry has chosen the V8 variant, which remains a commendable choice for those seeking a balance between power and luxury in their automotive experience. Cadillac Escalade the Cadillac Escalade, a full-size luxury SUV crafted by General Motors, showcases a range of exciting features that contribute to its allure. These include Android Auto and Apple CarPlay integration, a Wi-Fi hotspot, rear seat entertainment, a 36-speaker AKG audio system, and plush leather upholstery. The Escalade seamlessly combines dynamic performance with poised handling, making it a standout choice in the luxury SUV segment. Beneath the hood, the Escalade is powered by a standard 6.2L V8 engine, generating 420 horsepower. This robust engine not only ensures a spirited driving experience, but also contributes to achieving a top speed of 154 Mermaut. With a starting price of 76,195, the Escalade offers a compelling blend of luxury and performance. Its acceleration, clocked at 0060 MPH in 6.1 seconds, further underscores its capability in delivering a swift and exhilarating ride. Land Rover Range Rover Land Rover Range Rover is what global elites get attracted to the Range Rover. As this doesn't offer the SUV's legendary off-road capability, but rather it is effortlessly elegant styling, an opulent cabin, and the A-list status that it's developed over the years. Starting with a turbocharged inline-six with a 48-volt hybrid system named P400, this churns out 395 HP. On testing, it proved to be buttery smooth and provided enough juice to pull the large-bodied rover around. While a 523 HP twin-turbo 4.4-liter V8 engine Land Rover named it as P530 is even vivacious and cranks up the Range Rover's towing capacity to 8,200 pounds Rolls-Royce Wraith, an ultimate coupe from the British automaker, with its stunning-looking design and super-refined performance. The Rolls offers a 6.6-liter twin-turbocharged V12 engine that makes 624 horsepower and 605 pound-feet of torque. It results in a supreme and rich drive and a blistering acceleration from 060 MPH in just 4.5 seconds. Bentley Bentega The Bentley Bentega wears a badge of prestige and unimaginable performance. The Bentega is perfect for both daily driving and performance chores and offers more practicality and usage. The Bentayga offers one of a kind twin turbocharged V8 engine -y that makes 534 horsepower. Combine it with a spacious cabin and high end luxury materials, the Bentayga is among the best cars in the Tyler Perry car collection. Rolls Royce Cullinan. Ending the list with the coolest SUV in Tyler Perry car collection, the Rolls Royce Cullinan is the only SUV by brand and this is one of the most expensive SUV in world. This car is not only famous for its luxury and elegant design, but also for its specifications, which contains a 6.75-liter V12 twin-turbocharged engine that generates 562 HP and can get up to 062 MPH in 5 seconds and can go as fast as 155 MPH. Private Jet Tyler owns a Gulfstream 3 private jet, that reportedly cost $125 million to acquire and customize. The jet features a screening room with 42-inch LCD flat screen and satellite hookup. 
he spent at least $50 million on customizations and furnishing for the formal living room, kitchen, and VIP bedroom. He has used the jet on a number of occasions to philanthropic missions, delivering supplies to countries recently hit by tragedies. He owns a second similar private jet. Tyler previously owned a Gulfstream V private jet, which he sold to controversial Christian pastor Kenneth Copeland. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell so you stay updated on our future videos. See you in the next one.